What's up, man? It's your boy Tusko, DKA Mr. Flow So Nice, aka Matiba Totle, because you already know, man, I talk too much. And by fair too, the more and more this ambitious case develops, the more and more I realize that it seems like record labels are actually the same. Like, there's no record label that you could actually sit down and look at and be like, it's good. I mean, study it. I mean, think about it. Um, there was cash money, like, for example, in the States that was running well, running well, running well. And then all of a sudden, a few years later, we hear Lil Wayne complaining. We hear producers complaining. We hear a number of people complaining, saying they haven't been paid yet. And in South Africa, we had our own in terms of ambitious entertainment. Or even before that, we had cash time. who also seemed like everything is going well, everything is going well. All of a sudden, everybody leaves. Now, it's the same thing with ambitious. It's been going well, going well, two years Everybody's celebrating, you know, there's a label that's actually doing well and it's independent and then all of a sudden what how what happens? Artists come out to actually say, you know what, we're being robbed out of our minds. Now Bafeto, um basically Aries and um and, and Fifi Cooper have actually come out, also Benchmark too, have also have actually come out just to actually say that look, the issue between them and Ambitious Entertainment was really not a personal issue. It was more about the moolah, okay? That they haven't been paid properly for the past two years. Um, now Fifi Cooperson actually came out and told Drum Magazine and I'll read what she said for you. She said, Aries and Duo Benchmark and myself didn't decide to leave the label at the same time. It just happened. It just happened. I had issues with the manager, Jose Mahoma Pelo, with regards to my finances. He became unhappy when I started asking questions. Now, she continued to say that, so one day I woke up and realized that I work all the time with nothing in my bank account while my kid is, while my kid is starving and it's still a lot to handle. So, Bafetu, that's one thing that Fifi Cooperson actually came out to actually confirm, to actually say to us, like, look man, Ambitious Entertainment ain't paying them enough. Aries also released a song, the song is called Loyal, I dropped the link in the description. He also talks about the same thing, talking about the fact that he was paid under 20k a month. And above all of that, that was not in the contract even. It was supposed to be paid more than that. Um, that Amanda Black hasn't received a plat yet. I'm not going to sit down and read the lyrics to you. It's just, The whole song is about ambitious. So it'll just take me a long time reading. So um, I want you guys to go check that song out. Um, and just let me know what you think for of it. But the more and more this case develops, man, the more and more I start to realize and think that maybe, you know, Ambitious really seems like a shady label, you know, like really that like they have some shady business because every time you hear artists complaining about a label anywhere in the world, it's always the fact that when they start asking questions, the managers or the owner of the label starts getting upset, which is usually a red flag to actually say, you know what, maybe it's time to go because these people actually don't want to pay me for that. But my friends, I want you, I want to hear what you think about about the situation but do you think ambitious is a shady label um let's not take away about the fact that they actually invested their money in this artist that they actually did their best to make sure that these artists blow up but also the fact that when i also have a question of where they're making profit from these artists like where they're making because they, they came out to also say that they made a loss from benchmark so where are they making profit from these artists? And if they were not making profit from these artists, is it right for the artists to actually blame them for not getting paid? Because if they don't pay you and you're not making them profit, it makes sense. But Buffett, I want to hear your comments. Definitely comment, definitely subscribe. Do you think Ambitious is shady? Or do you think they just didn't make enough profit from these artists? Awesome. Now wait, 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 Emma Billy. I know you want to go, but click that red button and subscribe and put some respect on a younger name, man. Awesome.